everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today we're working through our mineralogy main lesson block. I'm working with my daughter who's 13 and today we're going to depart from the main lesson book to do a religious entry. So I have my Quran here and I've already pulled all of the ayahs that I want to include for this lesson. I've highlighted them and I also have them written down and you can find all of the information for the ayahs that I used on the blog post that accompanies this video. You can find that link down in the description box below. So today's entry is going to be just on one page and we're going to include the ayahs, the illustration, and a little caption about the significance of mountains having roots. And I probably should have done this on a two-page spread because once I wrote everything down, I didn't have enough room to write all of the ayahs that I wanted. I was only able to write one, but I had about three picked out that I wanted to write, and they are quite similar, but I did want to include at least three different ayahs. Mountains are mentioned over 30 times in the Quran. Often, they are mentioned in regards to the way that they are laid and fixed firmly. Other times, the Quran mentions mountains that they will be turned to dust on the Day of Judgment. And then later, mountains are mentioned as far as dwellings or in regards to other stories in the Quran. There is another ayah that mentions the colors of mountains. And that is another entry that we plan to do when it talks about mountains being black or red. So we thought that we would use an opportunity to talk about igneous mountains versus sedimentary mountains. So now I'm going to be drawing a sort of a cross section of a mountain and its root. So mountains have deep roots that penetrate through the crust all the way into the mantle. It is still considered crust. So when you see a cross section, you'll notice that the crust is deeper, it's thicker underneath a mountain range. And the taller the mountain, the deeper it's going to go. So you can imagine it somewhat like an iceberg where you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg above the water, and yet the majority of the iceberg is under the water, you can envision mountain ranges being similar where what you're seeing is the peak of the mountain but deep below the ground that extends much deeper than the crust is the root of the mountain or the peg which stabilizes the crust of the earth because the crust is floating on the mantle. So it's not going to be part of the mantle. It's still going to be part of the crust, but the crust itself is thicker in that area. And then the root itself goes down even below where the mantle would otherwise be. So it sort of penetrates deeper into the mantle. Now this is seen in science with geology when two plates are colliding together. You'll see the protrusion or the mountain range that erupts above the surface of the earth. And then below that you will see that there is a root to the mountain that penetrates deep underground. So I'm drawing a cross section here and it should have been a really easy design and I chose one that had less descriptions of each of the layers because you can find ones that talk about each of the layers of the earth but I wanted to keep this one as simple as possible. And in so doing, I ended up using one that was a bit of a cross section. So I'm trying to do this sort of three dimensionally and it ends up taking me a little more time than I expected, but my daughters went much faster once I went through all of the trial and error of penciling it out. Once the pencil form was done, it was very easy to fill it all in. I'm using my Lyra color pencils and then for the darker brown, I'm using a, a thicker Lyra color pencil as well. I'm using my fountain pen to label these different areas on the diagram. And then I made two mistakes when I was writing out the passage above and I was using the eraser pen and then I didn't wait for it to dry. And so it is still smudged. But if you do wait for the eraser pen to dry and then use that pen to correct it, then it should be fine. So I only had room for one short paragraph below and I went ahead and I wrote a little bit of a description of how the root system works works with the mountain range and then I went back in afterwards and I did color it in just a little bit darker because I felt like it was too light and I felt like that the majority of the drawing was just brown and I prefer a little bit more color in my drawing and I went ahead and I made the border just a little bit darker all around. So this lesson is the final result of several hours of discussing this topic. I really like the way that it turned out, but I think that we have more opportunities to write more ayahs within this earth science and mineralogy block.
I hope that you're enjoying this series. If you'd like to check out some of the other mineralogy and earth science videos, you can check out the playlist, which is in the description box below. You can head over to my website at pepperandpine.com to check out the blog post that accompanies this video. You'll find all of the resources I have been using for all of the mineralogy, geology, and earth science blocks that we've done over the years. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at pepperandpine.